Greetings, brave travelers. As always, I hope you're having a fan freaking tastic day. We're going to take a look at the elemental phase three bis. There is, however, a couple of caveats to this bis list, and I kind of want to go through them with you and give you examples of what could be better, what you lose in order to make that better, so on, so forth. So without further ado, let's start. We have Sky Shatter Headguard. This is actually our first caveat. You could say that the cowl of the Illidari High Lord is, of course, Helm Slot Bis. Because it is, but the caveat we will get to. So, notice we finally have a useful tier set. Our tier set is very powerful for us in this patch of the game. We get extra spell power and crit for having all of our totems down and 5% increased lightning bolt damage. Both of those are very powerful for us, especially when combined with our meta gem that is obviously superior in every way, even though these sims don't show it. The chaotic skyfire diamond is very, very powerful. So the more percentage damage you add to spells, the higher the extra percentage of crit damage will be. Translucent Spell Thread Necklace being the next step from the Sun King's Talisman. It's such a close step, but it is the better item. I wouldn't panic to get this. I would put this at the bottom of my priority list or close to it and let that be okay. Sky Shatter Mantle. Nothing really competes in this regard. Yes, these are stronger, but again, you need your four piece. And if you're going to make a trade, it's not going to be on the shoulder pads because you're better off keeping the Sky Shatter head guard. It's close. Again, you could swap the Sky Shatter mantle for the obviously in this item slot better option of either the mantle of nimble thought or hate fury mantle and hate fury mantle could be very powerful because unfortunately there's not a lot of data from private servers and things like that to argue for having spell penetration prioritized over haste or anything in that way so hate fury mantle could actually be stronger than what these numbers are showing this is the item that i would keep an eye out for this is the item that i might consider swapping sky shatter mantle for and we'll get to the where we have an item to swap in a little bit. So Cloak of the Illidari Council, it's just too good. You could make an argument to try to pick up the Healer Cloak. The extra haste is nice. The spell damage isn't far off. You're losing crit. You're losing spell power. You're gaining haste. There's a certain point where haste is too much for us as elemental shamans, or we either have to go from having the perfect amount of haste or like way too much haste in order to get value out of haste. We The, the half steps aren't very strong for us. Skyfire Breastplate, indisputably your best item, doesn't matter, take it. I would probably put this up there on closer to the top of my list just because it's such a no-brainer. Nimble Thought, Bracers, Ailering, 28 Haste, this. Maelstrom Fury. People struggled with Zardoom, Great Staff of the Devourer, because obviously it's super powerful. The Maelstrom's Fury, though, gives you quite a bit of spell power and crit. And then to add the shield, the Aegis, gives you more spell power and more crit than going with Zardoom's. And it falls into the haste is a weird thing for us. So 8% haste is what I'm showing right now. You could go with Zardoom. You're going to have a lot of competition for this item, but you could go with it. It does get you over 3% haste, which is a lot of haste. It is very close in spell power. It's less in spell power for sure. Very close in critical strike rating. And you get that extra haste. It's going to be close. Again, the jury is still out on the value of haste for elemental. If you're getting the four lightning bolt chain lightning, that's our ultimate rotation. Whatever it takes to get to that point is what you want to do. So if 11.54% haste gives you four lightning bolt chain lightning and the 8% doesn't, then this would obviously be our abyss. Sky Shatter Gauntlets, the clear winner, we need our four piece. 
Flashfire Girdle, most powerful belt in the game until obviously the last phase of the expansion. Leggings of Channeled Elements. Now this is where the caveat comes in and this is the item that you could swap. So Sky Shatter Leggards, instead of Leggings of Channeled Elements, though these are better, especially with three gem slots, you could go with the Sky Shatter Leggards here and that would give you the room to make decisions on your shoulder, which jury's still out on spell penetration. Hateful Mantle could be very powerful, more powerful arguably than Mantle of Nimble Thought. This is going to come down to haste math, basically. Whatever gives us our four lightning bolt chain lightning is what we're going to want. So if this is what gets us there, we could then swap for the Hate Fury Mantle or add extra haste from the Mantle of Nimble Thought to get to our four lightning bolt chain lightning rotation. Unfortunately, with all the research that I've done, I've not been able to find out the exact haste breakpoint to make the lightning or four lightning bolt chain lightning perfect. So whatever that haste percent ends up being is the haste percent that we are going to want. I will revisit this as the math comes out when people are actually wearing these items so that we can talk about it. The slippers of the sea collar, just your bis. There's no real changing it. It doesn't, no point in offering caveats. It's just bis. Ring of Ancient Knowledge, two of them. If you're enchanting, get 212 spell power enchant. Dream kids, yes. Pretty trinkets. trinkets, the absolute bis is the Skull of Gul'dan. There are arguments to be made for Sextant or Icon of the Silver Crescent. The baseline spell power from the icon is very strong, obviously, but you'll notice that I'm at 34% crit unbuffed and that's pretty powerful. Though I want it to be higher, 34% crit unbuffed is good. So Sextant of the Unstable Currents will have high uptime, therefore is actually going to end up being better than the Icon of Silver Crescent. My totem is the Totem of Ancestral Guidance from Black Temple. This is just the Bis. It's 85 Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning damage. It's just strongest. So go with that, and that's it. That's our Elemental Shaman Phase 3 Bis list. If you have any opinions on what items you're going to choose for your four-piece tier set, or if you have any opinions on the weapons, feel free to leave that in the comment section below and we can talk about it. If you have any information that I've missed, even though I've poured over Elemental Shamans on private servers for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, I've not been able to find the exact percentage breakpoint of haste needed to get the four lightning bolt chain lightning rotation. So please, if you find that information somewhere on a magical Reddit thread or something that I've not come across, feel free to let me know in the comment section below and perhaps I will add an addendum to this video so that we're getting the exact base perfectly mathed out so that we know what's going on. I hope that this was entertaining or helpful in some way, shape, or form, and if it was, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button before you go. Every subscriber helps. The channel has been growing so well, and I'm so happy to have this experience where the community is growing and people are getting in on the comment sections of all of my videos and we're having chats and I get to like their stuff and they get to give me all the feedback in the world and make me a better content creator. I appreciate all of it, so thank you so much. And until next time, folks, farewell.